Or are you playing with the bag of returns, Liam? Did you spot the, the C-A-M-E-R-A? Okay, we're gonna get in the car. We're gonna head to the store. We have a couple of stops to make. And we need to see. Yes, baby. Hey, Liam. Liam, can you say stinky? Stinky. 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 Yeah. Yeah, stinky. He does love that dinosaur. It's like the first thing he looks for when he gets in the car. Liam, can you say dinosaur? Dinosaur. Dinosaur, herbivore, carnivore. <laughs> I see we lost a shoe. Oh, we did. We lost a shoe, Liam. <laughs> really, really big shoe. This is just the beginning of this car getting hot. This is nothing. This is warm in here. But this is nothing to what it's going to be soon. All right, buddy, let's get some air on you. I love you. You ready to go to the store? Thank you. I got in no problem. Daddy Long Legs was driving last. Turn the car on, get some air up in here. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. Do you see Dad Dad back there? Oh, thank God. Yes, Larry. Good job. I did it. I'd already started styrofoam Dad, rattling. Dad, 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 Dad. Yeah, Dad Dad's back there. I was going to put the stroller in. Oh, we got to get rid of that styrofoam thing. I am not listening to that <laughs> thing rattle. Right. Just set it right by the garage and we'll we'll figure it out. Did you set the alarm? No. We've all made it in the car. We are going to run out today, run a few errands. We're, we're headed off to Marshall's, Alta, both places I need to do a return. We're gonna shop around, look around. It is the week before Easter. We might pop into Hobby Lobby. Because I broke a dinosaur bunny. <laughs> and Larry wants to see if we can find the replacement for Liam's T-Rex bunny. So we're gonna see. Um, but we wanted to start off this vlog for thanking you and just how sweet you are and sending all of your condolences for Larry's mom. Um, Larry's mom passed away, so we just want to thank each and every one of you for sending those condolences over. And thank you for the person that's unknown that called me that evening to give me the heads up on that. I don't normally answer calls from places I don't know, but it was kind of late in the evening, and I thought that's kind of odd. And I answered it, and it was someone kind enough to let me know that, that mom had passed, so. Yeah. yeah, it's just sad. Very sad. It's just been, like, one of those times, weeks, months. It just seems like it's just one of those times. And then, leading into that, guys, which is totally different, totally, totally different. But the Key Bridge in Maryland collapsed. It got hit by a barge this morning. And it is just, it is gone. My family, we drove over it together. Yeah, several times. My mom's side of the family lives in Dundalk. Liam is not having us sitting here for we usual. We have to move. We have to move. My mom's side of the family is in Dundalk and we traveled over that bridge. I'll link a vlog actually. The last vlog that I filmed going over that bridge was with my mom in 2020 for my Aunt Kathy's funeral. Um, but yeah, I filmed going over that bridge and coming back over that bridge and that is, that's it. And the bridge is gone and I've, the poor people that were on that bridge I mean I don't want to like say oh thank god it wasn't during rush hour like but yes like thank god but also there still were construction workers up on that bridge how I don't think there were regular cars over it I watched the whole video they all got off and moved by the time it collapsed but I heard, heard that the um, operator of the barge had set out a uh, mayday yeah, the lights on the barge went off, and then they came on, and then black smoke poured out, and then the lights went off again, and then it hit the pillar, and it, I just can't believe how fast that collapsed, but it's just been sadness all around, but we're trying to stay in positive lights here, and just take it day by day, go with the flow. And I got a weird message, too that someone is all upset because in every video that we make I'm always wearing blue 
So I think it's good and blue. <laughs> well, I, I don't know what, why they would be so upset. I guess it um, it doesn't take much for some people to be upset about what you're wearing or yeah i actually I had know. a green shirt on and i found out you were going to be filming so i changed it to blue just to upset that one person oh jeez we're feeling spicy y'all all right well, let's head out to the stores uh let's go super cute silkware <laughs> found this print and I think it's so pretty. $19.99. Should we get it? Sure. Where would we put it? I think it may be our bathroom, maybe. Mm. Or our bedroom. Guest bedroom. We'll find a spot. Yeah. Ooh, coconut and palm. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. You don't burn that. We are home from shopping. We only made it to Marshall's and then Ulta. So I did the returns there and then I did pick up a few things at Marshall's. So I'm gonna share that in this video, but for right now we are making dinner. It is 5.10. And I'm making spaghetti. So I showed you guys in the last vlog the Rayos Sensitive Stomach, I believe is what it's called, marinara. So that is what I'm making in my sauce, which is about to overboil. I do not love this stove. It is chaos every time I cook with it. But is it me or the stove? Ha ha ha. Um, but anyway, so here's the sauce. So there's like a little bit of ground beef. Larry has the majority of the ground beef in his. And then I have a ton of chopped up mushrooms in here basically as the base so it's a lot of mushrooms so if you love mushrooms it's really delicious and then I have red onion in here I don't usually do red onion in spaghetti I usually do like a white onion but red is what I had in the fridge and then we just have pasta so that is what I am making for dinner and it's gonna be delicious I'm so excited Oh, that was the spoon for the noodles. Also excited to show you guys everything that I got at Marshall's, one of which is a print, which, oh, hold on, Larry and Liam are being super cute while I'm making dinner, look at this. <laughs> are you gonna take off with your dinosaur blanket? <laughs> Very cute. Okay, guys, this print, oh, how gorgeous is it? Larry said, the ladies at the checkout line said it was absolutely beautiful. And I just, I don't know, I saw it and I thought it looked really delicate and bright and happy and just, I don't know, just soft and happy is how I can describe it. Marmont is the artist and it was $19.99. So I thought I could find maybe a great place in the master bedroom. Oh, I didn't notice there's a little honeybee. Even cuter now. Oh, there's another honeybee. Babe, did you know it had honeybees on it? I saw the butterfly and the birds and the flowers. Yeah, there's two little honeybees on there. So this was the only one we saw at Marshall, so I grabbed it. But I'll show you guys the rest of the stuff. There's some really pretty candles, some coffee mugs. And yes, I went there with the coffee mugs because they were really cute. I got two of them. Um, got some shoes. Shoes for Liam, shoes for myself. Here's the shoes that I picked out for myself. They're the Toms, I think they're the Toms. Yes, the Toms. I thought these were a really cute, simple summer shoe. Great to just slip on. I love the color and I like the, um, is that like a rope kind of bottom? I don't know what it's called, but I got those shoes. And then for the little man, I got him a pair of Adidas shoes. Mm -hmm. How cute are these all white Adidas? And they're super light. Like I didn't want to get him the Adidas, Adidas that are more like the leather and firm. These are super light. They're flexible, great for um, little ones that are running around and just, they're just light. I like the light, not the heavy where they're gonna clunk and trip over themselves because of their shoes, you know? So I gotta check this spaghetti pasta, it's boiling. Oh, and then Larry also got fried chicken at the store. 
yesterday, I believe, or the day before yesterday. Sunday. So we're having like that chicken Parmesan moment. Larry said Sunday, we got it, it is Tuesday. So it's like a leftover fried chicken night. Chicken Parmesan. So like fried chicken with the spaghetti and then I'm making myself a salad really quick with the pickles. A lot of you guys have DM'd me that you have tried these over on Instagram and they are just the best pickle. It's like your classic dill pickle, but elevated, but not too much. Cause I like garlic, right? But I like a roasted mushy garlic. I don't love like an over garlicky pickle and these are not that. So they still have like the fresh dill, the, the garlic. I think there's mustard seed in here. Guys, it's just, it's so fresh. It's like the fresh classic dill pickle. Okay, so here's Liam's dinner for tonight. So we have the whole wheat pasta with my spaghetti sauce and then the chicken, veggie straws, some peaches and watermelon. Most likely to be honest though, he's probably uh, but of course we always put it there in hopes that he will. So <laughs> this is little man's dinner. Okay, so dinner is complete. It was delicious. Now I'm going to do the Marshall's portion of this video. And then we're gonna talk about the March read and the show, Firefly Lane. So a lot of you were really excited about the show and said that I should watch the show. And we watched the first episode last night. I'll get into it in a minute after we talk about the book. However, I'm only on the first episode, so I am giving it a chance. But we'll get there first things first. Let's do the Marshalls haul. So, all right, we're starting with some clothing items for myself and for Liam. Babe, did you end up finding any anything in the t-shirt section or you weren't, weren't vibing? Uh, no, I didn't see anything. Like okay. Oh, I forgot I got this. I'm excited about this. So it's like, it's a phone case, but a wallet that you can put your cards in. Look guys, do you see this? I'm so excited and it was only 10 bucks. So I'm looking forward to it and it's cute. It's very like floral. We'll see how it goes and it's adjustable. The wallet thing is. So anyways, it's for the iPhone 15, 14 and 13. Next is the little blue truck. Liam loves these books. We have the Christmas one. There's another one too. Oh, Valentine's. the Valentine's Day, yeah. And what about spring? Spring, yes, we have spring. And then I saw this one and these, this was on sale for, I think it was like five bucks, 5.99 maybe. So I think that's what I remember the sticker being on there. Liam loves books, he loves story time. So books are always a win over here. I found a cat shirt and I saw it. I was like, I was really drawn to it. It's this one. It's this really cute, lightweight, white button up. Um, what are these called? They're cats. like a dress shirt. Yeah, cats. It's by the brand Jane Delane, Delancey? Delano, I don't know. Some of the cats are wearing glasses. I like that. And top hats, super cute. But it's just one of those, like you can dress it down super casual. So a jeans, button up make yourself look a little bit more dressed up. So like I have the once a month uh, girls dinner dates where we pick the book club, like the book for the month. And I'm wearing this on our April date. It's one of the restaurants with some jeans and some flats and it'll be cute. So I'm really excited to wear the cat shirt. And then I got myself one of those like sweater tank tops. It's by the Jessica Simpson brand in a pretty cream color. I got it in a size large because the medium looked really like small. I think just the length is what I'm talking about. I wanted it to not hit so like high. I don't know. So we'll see. I got it in large. I think the problem though is it's going to go a little too low down here, but I can always wear like a white something or another underneath of it. But I've been looking for one of these, like these sweater vests, but they're tank tops. And I found one. For $14.99. You can't beat that. Then I got Liam a Tommy Bahama. Is it a four piece set? Yes, it is a four piece set. So you have dinosaur. He loves dinosaurs. We have the little blue shorts. And then on this side, you have another dinosaur shirt with orange shirts. And of course you can mix and match. Thought it was adorable. Then have another Liam set, just really cute, casual t-shirt top. 
And then another one. This is by the brand CNC California Kids. And then this is the most amazing, comfortable pajama set that I got for Liam. It's rayon made from bamboo. It is like the most stretchy, soft PJ material. So I got him some animals and a stripe set. And this was $16.99. We have, oh, you did get the book. That's so cute. We have bedtime prayers. I love the cover, the illustrations. That's adorable. Aww. How cute. I'm glad you grabbed it. Okay, so we have that. Oh, how much was that? Little book. $3.99. Then I found myself a mug. You guys know your girl can't help herself. Well, actually, I can. Sometimes I'm very disciplined. And I don't, have I bought a mug this year? Have I, guys? You guys would probably know. Have you bought one? Is that a word? <laughs> have I bought a mug? Have I purchased a mug? I think it's just bought. Do pardon my English. Um, yeah, I don't think I have. I think this is my first mug purchase of the year. I made it to March. Woohoo! Um, but it's a cute mug, okay, guys? And the checkout lady noticed that there was a huge crack in my mug, and they were both very sweet and very nice and found one they knew where they were and found one because it was like oh that was the last one and they're like no we have more in a different section and she grabbed one so that was awesome this is a disney cinderella mug look how pretty it is it says a dream is a wish your heart makes and it has that speckled material hopefully that's showing up like that speckle oh it's just so cute i love it um and then the inside is a really pretty blue color there's no price tag. Yes, there is. Here it is. $5.99 for the mug. And then wait till you guys see this next mug. This is like aesthetically pleasing mug. This is the one that probably is all over an Instagram account. You know, those mugs, but guys, trust the process. It's a cute mug. It's one of those timeless mugs. This, this, look at it. Just even the shape is different. It just looks handmade. I love mugs that look like that. Ah, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It's so cute. This is by the brand Ada and Jade. Uh, there we go. And this mug was $4.99. This candle. This is a no burn candle. Do you guys remember? It was probably all over Instagram around Christmas time, those viral candles that were at Marshall's and TJ Maxx that had like, I don't even know how to explain it. Oh, the cookies are done. Baking the, what are those? What is that brand of cookies? I'm having a brain fart. What is that called? Lauren's. Sweet Lauren's. Sweet Lauren's. Sweet. <laughs> Yeah. I love sweet secrets. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, sweet secrets cookies. It, sweet secrets cookies with less sugar. We love that. Okay, this is the candle that I found. Look at it. How beautiful. Oh, that's the wick. I guess I'll cut the tag off. But it's like a blooming candle. But anyways, they had versions of these for Christmas with Christmas decor wax inside. This is more of like your springy summer in a pretty pot but i'm not burning it it's just like gonna be a bathroom decor piece for the guest bathroom this was 12.99 burn within sight it says but anyways we're not burning so cute i really liked it there were a couple so if you were wanting it there were a couple up there it's not like they were all wiped out and sold out so i had like three total all right the next few things are just little toys for Liam. Um, he loves sirens. I wonder where he got that from. <laughs> Larry. But um, we have a fire truck that does the sirens and all of the stuff. We have an ambulance. Our little first responder. We have a set of helicopter, fire truck, ladder police truck. car, ladder, ladder, excuse me, ladder truck, Larry said. And then did he pick this out? He did. He picked this out. It I is. Have to wait a little while for him to get that one off. Yeah, it's the choking hazard. Small heart, small parts under three. So some of the parts we're gonna watch with him. But um, this is the Thomas and Friends All Engine Goes. So it's a book. 
And then you have the little puzzle bit in there. So a play mat and pieces to play. Yeah, see that little one probably go right in his mouth. But yeah, very cute. He was excited about it, so we got it. So that is everything. Plus the shoes and the print that I showed you from earlier. Now let's talk the book. The book. Okay, you guys know I love the book. And this is what I finally understand what people mean. Like, because I was never a book reader when I was younger. I just, just it was not a book reader. Um, but they did not follow along with the book. Even in the first episode of the series of Firefly Lane on Netflix. Okay, if you do not want to hear any spoilers about the first episode of Firefly Lane on Netflix, skip this part. I'll put a time on the bottom of the screen when I am not talking about this situation and you guys can continue on with that part of the vlog. And I haven't talked too much about the book because I wanted to save that for a later vlog on my thoughts and everything, but maybe I'll just save it here, guys. Okay, I finished Firefly Lane. I loved the book, obsessed with the book. Loved the character dynamic between Kate and Tully. Tully is basically like your girl that everybody is drawn to. She's the center of like the party. She just lights up the room when she walks in. Um, she has a struggling background with her home life. And then Kate is the opposite. She's like the more shy, more reserved, um, isn't very popular in school. She has an amazing family, an amazing mom. Um, so then these two end up becoming best friends and in their teen years. And then through 30 years of friendship, essentially, in this book. Um, and you just watch their life kind of unfold and the things that they go through. And the whole time, and I've already told you guys a little bit about this, but the whole time I very much gravitated towards Kate. I had a soft spot for Kate throughout the whole book. You just feel sorry for her. You don't fear, feel as sorry for Tully, I don't think, because she's just such a strong, bold character. I felt bad in her for her with like her mother's situation um, because she had a drug addict mom. So I felt bad for Tully in that situation, but I really liked Kate and Kate's character. The ending of the book, again, this whole situation is spoilers. If you haven't read, don't listen. If you haven't watched the series, don't listen to this part. Um, I was shattered when Kate got cancer and died uh, at the ending of the book. And I was just very upset. I cried, big time cried. It also made me literally check my boobs like 15 million times for breast cancer. I'm not kidding. Like looking for patches, looking for lumps, looking for weird like spots and all the things. That made me very aware, which was like the point of the book. I think the author that wrote the book had experienced somebody in her life, whether it was her mom or her, a family member or a family friend had died of cancer. Um, so just like talking about the importance of catching breast cancer early um, so that you don't go in and end up with stage four breast cancer. I know not all the time like is a situation like that, but it just brought that awareness into, yeah, I don't know where the book is, into light for me. I was telling my mom, I was like, did you check yourself? <laughs> like, check your, like I was all over the board with that. But okay, now let's jump to the series. So the book I loved, 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 loved. I just loved it. It was an easy read for me. I also felt bad with the whole Kate's husband situation because Kate's husband, who she ends up marrying in the book, kind of had a thing for Tully for a minute there, but then was like totally in love with Kate and all for Kate. And also Kate's daughter was quite a handful and I felt bad for Kate with that whole thing. <laughs> Guys, I just love Kate, I love her character. Now, let's jump to the series. And now I'm only on episode one, I have to watch episode two. I was so disappointed that the series has Kate divorced because that is not at all how it was in the book. There was no divorce. He was with her and supported her through the entire marriage, through her cancer. He was by her side. And it's just like, that is, that is, the, then, then we're starting off a series with divorce. And I'm like, that is, that's not it. So I was rather disappointed with that. And on top of the first episode ending with him showing up at Tully's, basically saying that he's made a bunch of mistakes in his life, basically alluding to the fact that he should have been with Tully. And I'm like, oh, this is just all wrong because in the book, these were all Kate's big fears. Anyways, 
that's my spiel. So I'm not happy about the series at the moment. I'm gonna keep giving it a try, of course. I wanna still watch it because I did read the book, but they got it all wrong right now. <laughs> and also, I feel like if you didn't read the book, how confusing, right? So you're like going back in time, middle of time, forward in time, back in time, like a lot in that first episode. Maybe it's just easier to film that way instead of like starting at the beginning and going to the end. I would have rather had that progression of seeing them become childhood friends and then the next stage and then the next stage instead of all the time zone back and forth. But that is just my critique, my take on it. You guys might have a totally different take if you're fans of Firefly Lane and you watched so and read the book. Anyway, if you didn't watch Firefly Lane or read the book, you're probably like, I so don't care. Why are you still talking about that? <laughs> so the book is gone. Oh, I know where it is. It's in my stack of books in the closet. I put it there because I finished it. I looked in there. It's in there. Should be right up top, no? I don't know. Here's the book. Larry found my book. Now we're just pulling it up on Netflix to watch episode two of season one. I am just finishing up editing the vlog that you guys are watching right now. And I just wanted to wrap it up with watching episode two of Firefly Lane. Again, still some discrepancies from book to series, but I think that's just a given when it comes to book and series. So that's fine. Um, but I am gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And I will see you guys again in the next video.